Domain forwarding is a great way to put your domain to work until you get your site up. But before you flip that forwarding switch, there's a few considerations you need to keep in mind. I'm Emily, this is Netta. We're gonna explain what redirects are and how they impact domain forwarding. When you type your domain into the browser, the browser then sends a request to the appropriate server. The server then sends back the requested domain, which displays on your browser. When you have domain name forwarding enabled, the server needs to know what to send to the browser instead of its original request. A redirect is a set of instructions that does just that. So think of it this way, the browser asks for a taco, and then the server has instructions that says, sorry, we don't have tacos anymore, give them a burrito. And then the user is then delivered a burrito. There are two types of redirects, a permanent or 301 redirect and a temporary or 302 redirect. Both types of redirects will send you to the site that you specify. However, a 301 redirect is the most commonly used and preferable for a couple of reasons. First, 301 redirects are executed super fast. They don't significantly slow page load. And second, a 301 allows you to preserve the greatest amount of SEO value generated by the original page. According to the SEO gurus at moz.com, when you use a 301 redirect, up to 99% of the link value is passed from the original page to the redirected page. And while a 301 redirect is technically called a permanent redirect, I'll let you in on a little bit of a secret, you can remove it anytime. And that's a little bit about redirects. Just remember, 301 will get her done. I'm Netta, that's Emily, we'll catch you later.